What up YouTube, Cyber here. And I thought it'd be cool to look at how I make liquidy, watery, bubbly sounds in Vital. Uh, let's take a look. Cool, jamming out there to a work in progress. Um, so the sound in question I was using right here in the project. And here's the vital patch. And if I play my keyboard. Cool. So let's grab a new instance of vital and recreate this. All right, so um, I have my default set to basic shapes, so I'm going to bring this to a sine wave, and we're going to recreate the shape of a droplet. And so we will drag this LFO over to the pitch, and the droplet sound kind of looks like this, where it comes down pretty quick, and then goes up, and then I kind of like to have, uh, for some smoothness, to kind of round this off over here for it to go around and around. You can put, turn it to envelope mode and just have one droplet, but I kind of like it to repeat sometimes. Um, and let's hear what that sounds like. It's a little too lasery. So uh, you can play with the time and so that the patch translate translates from project to project, um, I like to turn it to seconds. And we'll play with this until we get it more droplety sounding. It's a little kick drummy. One thing we can do to help that too is slow up this attack a little. That's sounding a little bit droplety. Um, and then the next step might be to jump over to our effects here. And just a little basic EQ can help things out for getting it to sit in your mix. Um, that's a fine start. Um, let's, so the basis of what gets these to sound really liquidy is um, short delay times where you're modulating them. So let's turn this delay to seconds. And um, one, what I like to do is grab a random and throw it over here. Actually, before I do that, I want to just show you this. Just get this really slow. I mean, that's a pretty cool sound right there. But getting these short delay times mod uh, modulating, moving around, is pretty fun. I'm going to change this to seconds, too. And we'll just play with this a little more. That's more what lo we're looking for. I like it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now these can be really fun when you're making dub to kind of layer with a snare drum or something. When the snare hits, you get like a and that can be super psychedelic and I love that. Um, this will sound even better with some reverb on it. I'm gonna cut the lows a little bit before the reverb. There we go. Nice. That's sounding pretty good. Um, 
One thing that can be cool is to um, create a macro over here, and we're gonna call this um, our uh, delay mod. And I'm gonna drag this over to the amount of random if you hold it right in the middle where that green dot comes on. So now we can play with, um, let's turn this up and play with, you know, something here. There we go. So if you want some sort of higher stuff going on, you can, or. It's a little, that's a cool little modification. That's fun. Um, the other thing that can be fun with this is to drag it over to stereo. See what that sounds like if you add stereo with it. Not bad. Um, let's see what else. Uh, okay. So playing with the delay times there can give you the uh, liquidy, watery sounds. But another thing that can give you that sort of watery sound is fast movement of a filter. Um, so let's grab a filter. Um, let's make it a steeper one and make it a band pass. And what we're going to do is grab another LFO and let's change it to a sine wave for a sort of smoother modulation and drag that over here. And what we want this to do is wiggle back and forth pretty quickly. So we're going to change this to seconds as well. And little bit more watery it's uh you get a question of really trying to get the right timing too fast and it just sounds like fuzz to me but if you combine this especially with a phaser turn that to freeze let's turn up the feedback let's turn the offset down turn this up get some more peaks we can get kind of an underwatery sound um, and we're gonna do this similar thing here where I wonder if So to tell what this looks like, it's pretty watery. So I'm going to grab a macro and put this here and I'm going to put it here too. Not quite the sound I'm looking for just yet, so I'm going to keep tweaking. Here we go. pretty watery. Call this uh, filters. Pretty bubbly. I like it. 
Um, the other thing that can be kind of fun is to grab a flanger for sort of a more underwater sound. And what's kind of fun is maybe grab a random and throw it on that. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we'll throw this mix here. Just um, call that flange. Flang. Cool. All right. Um, let's take a look at how this works in the track. So, um, I like it. So I might add another reverb here. I've got a gold plate. And I might add another delay. Let's grab color copy. Cool. Now another way to make your sounds even more watery, um, color copy is great for this because you can um, modulate the rate of the delay even more here. So um, one thing I do is I might automate this frequency for different times that my um, sound hits. So let's take a listen to what it sounds like with this delay modulation. It gets super watery. So turn up the depth here and turn the speed of it down a bit. Uh, turn this off. Ooh. So hear it up fast or down lower. Nice. So what I would do here is turn on touch and grab this frequency and start automating it like this. Let's just say we want another one over here. Let's let's have this first one be kind of faster and then this next one be slower. Nice. We're getting somewhere. It's watery, it's bubbly. I love it. Hope you guys like it too. Um, I'll upload the patch from this, uh, I'll upload the patch from this tutorial for my Patreons. I just started a Patreon. Um, hope you dig it, guys. 